Hey, friend. <laughs> we made it. It's wine down with it. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We made it to hump day, friend. We made it to hump day. Go grab your glass, okay? I'll wait. And while I'm waiting, my dog decided to start working, but that's fine. We, we're just gonna we're gonna tune them out because that's what you do to haters. You tune them out. What are you drinking today, friend? I actually I'm gonna be completely honest because y'all know I am not a liar. I don't like to lie. I like to be completely honest with my friends, and I'm not drinking wine. It's a seltzer. This is actually a barefoot pineapple seltzer, and I added some pear sour mix to it. Baby, baby, my love, this is the bomb. Like, I think I found my new drink, like, my new beverage. Because, so in my house, we're doing a thing um, as we prepare for this married life. Because, you know, your girl is walking down the aisle April 30th. But um, as we prepare for this merry life, we are cutting back on our alcohol in this house, okay? Very necessary. So, um, I've actually been fasting from hard liquors. Um, I started my fast in Lent, for Lent. Um, actually, before Lent, I was doing, um, every, during the week. Like, I wouldn't drink any, like, hard liquor during the week. No, no shots of tequila. Y'all know I love my tequila shots. I wasn't in the casa with the Migos. And you know, your girl wasn't feeling that. But I'm not going to lie. I've been feeling so good since I kicked the liquor. Like, your girl's been feeling good. My skin is glowing. Like, I've actually gotten to the point where I don't even wear makeup every day. Because your girl is looking good. Okay? The look. The look. Okay? do it so um you know grab grab whatever your beverage is of choice like i said i'm drinking a, a hard seltzer with a little bit of sour mix you know just give me a look not too much you know so um yeah it's wine down wednesday friend we just gonna chill and i know you're not here with me right now and i really don't know when you're gonna be watching this video but i feel the vibes you know i feel the vibes i feel what it is I feel you present in this moment. And I don't know if that makes sense, but it doesn't have to. This is good. It's good, okay? It's good. And I, let me tell y'all something about me, okay? Liquor, It. I thought it was the liquor, honey. I, I just be acting this way. <laughs> just be acting this way honey the other day i had um put me some cranberry juice in a little liquor cup and i was walking around I, I had an event and i was walking around honey you know by my third cranberry juice why was i in there acting like i was drunk you know you're not drunk shan you know you're not drunk you you know you're not doing the most am i the most dramatic gemini is it me am i the drama I'm not the drama baby because let me tell let me tell you who is the drama. Will Smith, baby. That is the drama. And I love it. I love it. I don't care what nobody say. If my fiance, soon to be husband, don't smack nobody like Will Smith did. If if they come disrespecting, like if somebody come talking about my lace or something, we're gonna have us a real problem. I love Will Smith for what he did. I respect it. If you don't like it, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. It is my bad. Your girl ran out of uh, storage and had to go and delete some things. I don't know why whatever um, device I'm using has no storage on it. How do you even get storage? And like, and then on my iPhone, like you buy the cloud storage, but it still says you don't have storage. And then I delete stuff and I still don't have storage. Anyways, that don't that's nothing but 
the devil, because the devil is your biggest hater, honey. Honey. Speaking of the devil is my biggest hater, the devil was real busy last weekend. Busy, honey. Like trying to trying to be busy, but you don't know. I am like divinely protected. Like God, ancestors, spirit guides, angels. They they all around me, honey. They all around me. They even one has been in one of my videos. Like I'm not gonna tell you guys which video, but there is a um little ghosty ghost in one of my videos child and a couple people called me like girl there's a ghost there's a halo around me right now right now as soon as i said i was divinely protected that's probably my shadow i don't know <laughs> but anywho i hope you had a good week for him so far we made it to hump day we are almost to friday I know some people um, don't work like a traditional Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. And you may have to work on like Saturday and Sunday. Even when I was working on Saturday and Sunday, like even I run a business um, outside of work. So I'm never really off. But even when I was working on Saturday and Sunday, it was something about that Friday. That Friday that made me feel great. Made your girl feel good. Okay. Made me feel good. But um, we do have a little bit of a topic today, friend. Uh, I know I usually get off track on Wind Down Wednesdays. I, I haven't been filming my Wind Down Wednesdays like I wanted to. And I'm going to be completely honest. The reason why I wasn't filming content that much is because I felt like I had to come on this camera full glam makeup every day. Like, do you know... How much time that takes for me to like do full, get full glam. Like some, I don't like, I, I used to be one of those people where I felt like I had to wear makeup every day. But in my great thirties, I'm just, I'm not even, I'm not that girl. I'm not that, I'm, no, I'm that girl. I'm her. But I don't, I don't feel like I need to do all of that extra. I don't feel like I need to put on a lash, a brow every day. So... When I would get off work and then I'd be like, dang, now I'm now I'm about to put on makeup to film content. That I just gotta take the makeup off. Like my skin wasn't feeling it. Like I had started breaking out from wearing too much makeup. So my skin was not feeling it. So I was not feeling that. So um that's why I wasn't uh, shooting a lot of content sometimes. And then not only that, like life just got the best of me. Like I put it out there in one of my transparency Thursday-ish videos. I say Thursday-ish because I don't think I uploaded it on Thursday. I might have recorded it on Thursday, but I did not upload it on Thursday. But, yeah, I was talking about that where, you know, your girl was just, life was happening. This wedding planning, starting a new job, rebranding my business, um, grieving, um, loss of my best friend. That was a lot. But your girl is, is doing good. I'm really taking charge of my mental health. Your girl started therapy. <laughs> yes. I started therapy. And the crazy thing about therapy, because I was talking about therapists, and she's just asking me all these questions. And I had to really tell her, like, I don't really like people in my business. But I guess this is what we here for. So I start, I start, I talked to Lady a little bit of my business, y'all. My business is out here in these streets. And I don't like it. But um, yeah. So we're gonna end this video with the lesson for this week. That I the lesson that I got from Monday through now, and the lesson that I want you to carry with yourself through the rest of the week. Okay? The lesson is watch your mouth. <laughs> watch your mouth and when I say watch your mouth I'm not just speaking on like how Chris Rock should have washed his mouth okay before you got the psh, psh, psh. I'm speaking on watch how you talk to yourself watch how you talk to yourself do you know how many times like I have to check people 
for, for how they talk to themselves. Because let me tell you something. I will check you over you, friend. I will check you over you real fast. Watch your mouth. Watch how you talking to yourself. Speak highly of yourself. I have committed to myself that I am going to talk to myself like how I will talk to Beyonce, okay? Like if Beyonce makes an uh-oh, I'm not, I wouldn't be like, dang, you so stupid. Ugh, oh my God, you so dumb. Dang, you always messing something up. So why would I say that to myself? Talk to yourself like how you would your best friend. Talk to yourself like how you would your number one crush because you should be your number one crush, right? Right? Talk to yourself like how you would the person that you respect the most out of your life. And when you start talking to yourself that way, I promise you the way that you look at yourself is going to be completely different. Your outlook on yourself is going to be completely different, friend. Once you start speaking highly of yourself, once you start talking to yourself the way that you deserve to be talked to all the time, and then once you start looking at yourself different, you're going to start stepping out into this world as a different person. And once you start stepping out into this world as a different person, the world is going to receive you as a different person. So therefore, a lot of things will change in your life. You want to manifest greatness? Talk to yourself nice. What do doll say? Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice and don't talk to me twice. Okay, that's how I walk through life. That's how I'm carrying myself. I'm talking to myself right. I'm treating myself right. I'm prioritizing my mental health. I'm prioritizing my goals. I'm prioritizing my health, my wealth, everything. I'm prioritizing it, but I'm starting it by talking to myself nice. I look at myself in the mirror. I literally have like a mirror at my desk at work that sits right in front of my keyboard and I look. And sometimes I, I might not like how I look because you know you might be looking like that. <laughs> but I might not like how I look at that moment. But right next to it is a sticky note that says, I love you, Shan. You are so beautiful. Yes, girl. <laughs> yes. Talk to yourself nice, friend. For the rest of this week, I want you to talk to yourself nice, okay? I hope you enjoyed this Wind Down Wednesday. I'm about to finish this glass off camera. You enjoy your glass of whatever is in your cup. Don't worry about what's in my cup. I'm not worried about what's in your cup. That's your cup. Okay? Until next time, I love you, girl, and I hope that you loving on yourself. Bye.